Hello and welcome to TM129 Technologies in Practice. This short video is a quick guide to finding your way around the module and how to locate some useful resources and information. Here's a version of what you should see when you navigate to the module website. You'll find links to just about all the resources you'll need to get the most out of the module. You're currently looking at a view of the study planner. This shows you the module blocks of study and how they match up to the year's calendar. You don't have to stick rigidly to the proposed dates, but it is easier to keep on top of your study schedule if you can keep to the proposed timings. If you do find yourself getting out of step with the module timing, this planner will remind you of what you should have covered, say before a TMA, and what areas of study lie ahead. Over on this side, you'll see various useful bits of information about your personal assessment results and links to the support you have available. This shows links for a fictitious student, but when you view the page, all the information you see will be relevant to you and your progress. The information you see here will regularly update throughout the life of the module. On the right hand side of the web page you'll find links to resources and forums. All of these links are expandable and if you sometimes can't see what you expect to find here it's worth clicking the plus minus button to see if any links are currently hidden. Please take note of the news items that will appear here. This will give you up-to-date information about any module changes or software issues for example. Below that is a list of links to study and assessment resources. This link will give you access to the tutor marked assignments, TMAs as they appear and any supporting material. Please start on TMA1 as soon as it appears to give yourself plenty of time to carry out the tasks that will be required. Now I just want to highlight some features of the planner that you need to get familiar with. First, tutorial dates for face-to-face -face and online sessions. I need to switch from this fictitious student's view of the site to my own personal view. Now please bear in mind that what I see as a tutor is not exactly what you will see as a student, but this is the only way I have available to show you key dates for the region's tutorials. Here's a planner entry showing that there is a tutorial available. This face-to-face -face meeting takes place in Lincoln and will run from 1 to 3 p.m. Two other tutorials will run in Nottingham and Leicester at the same time. Please attend the face-to-face -face tutorial if at all possible, as it really is useful to be able to put faces to names and students tell me that they find these sessions to be very useful. However, we know that not everyone can get to face-to-face -to -face tutorials and so we provide online tutorial sessions that will mirror the content of the face-to-face tutorial. -face tutorial. These sessions will take place on the evening of the 11th, 12th and 13th of February 7.30 to 9 in the evening. So now I want to show you how to access the online tutorial and you do this through this web page. Please bear in mind that anyone in our region can attend the online session or the face-to-face -face session. Please attend the one that suits you best. As an added bonus, if you can't make either session, the online tutorial will be recorded and you'll be able to view that recording whenever it suits you. To access an online tutorial you need to click here. I can't show you the actual link that you'll eventually see on the website as this hasn't been set up yet but it will look a bit like this link on the TU100 website. The link you need will say R05 Day School Room. There will be a series of online tutorials that are repeats of the face-to-face -face meetings that take place on the 1st of February in Lincoln, Nottingham and Leicester. The online tutorials will take place on the 11th, 12th and 13th of February and you can attend the one that is most convenient for you. The link will take you to a page that looks like this. Click Join Session and incidentally links to any previously recorded sessions will appear on this page too. When you've clicked to join the meeting a small file will download that you should open enable or download Java if you're asked to. You'll see many references to Blackboard Collaborate but remember that you're using OU Live it's just hosted within Blackboard Collaborate. You may or may not see certain splash screens and warnings. It all depends on the operating system running on your computer and depends on the various security settings that your computer uses. You may be asked to choose a connection speed and you should choose the one that best fits your setup. Eventually the OU Live interface will appear on your screen. Well that's all for now in this video. 
we'll look at setting up your audio and navigating the OU Live interface and ePortfolios in part two. So for now, thanks for watching.